<laughs> oh man, what? What? Uh, hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to Modded Terraria. So, uh, yeah, I just made this P90 gun from Calamity Mod. Thank you so much, Rexol, for, for telling me about this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I just made it, and I resisted the urge to use it until I was on camera right now. And I'm glad that I did, because this thing is incredible. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I clicked my... I was, like, too excited, and I clicked my, my hotbar. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. Look at that. I'm sorry, uh, what's her name? Skeleton. Mr. Skel Mr. Skullington. What are you? Mandible Calavera. Max Calavera. I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, you're probably not going to survive the onslaught. <laughs> as soon as she goes into the second form, I think you're going to... I'm dying here. Jeez. <laughs> so, um, okay. This Pope of Rilihu weapon, the hammer, is totally insane, and I love it. I'm going to make the sword, guys. Don't worry. We're going to check out the sword in a few minutes after I kill Plantera. Maybe another time. I'm probably going to fight, too. Over here. Okay, let me uh, concentrate on killing her and not dying. <laughs> but, okay, that, that hammer is amazing. If you guys know of any other weapons like this gun and like that hammer that are just totally over the top and insane, Please let me know in the comments, please, because <laughs> I'm all about this. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. You know, yeah, I think Max is dead. Yeah, sorry, Max. <laughs> uh, I was, I, I have been a little bit, a little bit disappointed in the guns, in the mods, but if there are, I'm sure there are now, I'm sure there are a lot more guns like this. I guess, you know, like, you can't make totally insane guns in pre-hard mode, probably. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, this gun, look at my uh, DPS here. Pretty awesome. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Rare Plantera? Oh yeah, look, I did, she dropped me a ruby token, ow. And we got these, let's drop that and that. This ghostly residue. I guess I can use more of that. Anyway, before my buffs wear out, let us do this again. Ow. <laughs> and as you can see, I have little baby Groot here. <laughs> the colors aren't completely right, you know. I'm probably gonna maybe at some point mess with it some more. But uh, <laughs> if you don't know what Groot is or who Groot is, I'm sorry. I probably sound just completely crazy. That, that opening. <laughs> that was really fun, though. That was a lot of fun to make. <laughs> um, this gun is crazy. This is my new favorite weapon. Look at that. It's like... It's not even like a gun. Those aren't bullets. That's like a hose. <laughs> I'm hosing Plantera. Lead hose. Anyway, okay. So as you can see, besides little baby Groot, I also kind of... Uh, kind of improved a little bit, improved the arena a little bit. I didn't make any more little, uh, little hidey holes, <laughs> but, uh, I did wall in the entire thing, but obviously this, this other wall, the light wall, that's still regular jungle wall. Ow. So I, I'm still getting mobs in here because I haven't replaced all that yet. Which is going to take a really long time if I decide to do that, which I probably will. Um, but I did replace some of the mud, some of the jungle grass, with regular grass. Just so I can plant some uh, sunflowers around. And that stacks a little bit and helps, you know, just a little bit. Because the spawn rate in these, you know, giant underground, underground jungle caves can be pretty overbearing at times. Like, as soon as I kill her, I'm still I'm gonna get swarmed. Gimme. But yeah. Cool stuff. Okay, see, look at this. Immediately. Let's get out of here. I don't wanna... Anyway, let's go. One, two, three, go! 
We get the mask. Yes. Oh, but I can't wear it because I'm using this thing that I reforged, obviously. I could equip this as an accessory, but I don't really have anything that I want to get rid of. <laughs> I mean, I guess the phylactery is like the next thing that's going to go. But, eh. I might install the Accessories Plus or More Accessories Plus mod, which will give me an extra accessory slot. But that's what the... Uh, I think that's what this Heart of the Jungle thing does. Anyway, okay, so um, we got this. Yahoo. <laughs> but we did get the Pygmy Staff. Okay, nice. Hopefully Treasure Bag number two gives me what I want. Uh, what? You're trolling me. Okay, we didn't get it, but I'm gonna keep fighting her until I get that. Let's do this first. I wanna craft, I saved this for the episode. I have an auto hammer. I bought one of those off camera. So uh, I guess we can do that. Two, we can make some shroomite because I have plenty of mushrooms. I wanna fight the mechanical bosses. I'm gonna make this as well. Here, let's make that sword right now. The Zillihu sword. It's with the boring katana and a broken hero sword, which I had. I think I have another one, too. But let's do it. And let's test it. Here, you're gonna probably take the place of the hammer for the time being. Okay. Well, it's not as insane as the hammer. That's for sure. But, uh... Okay. We'll use that for now. That's cool. Oh, and I did... I got this chaparral... Chaparral yo-yo while I was working in the jungle on that arena. I forgot what dropped it. Just some random jungle mob. 142 melee damage yo-yo though. And it shoots. <laughs> shoots stingers everywhere. Okay. I want to fight all three mechanical bosses at once. Hopefully I don't die from that. And then I want to make... Because I'm really low on souls. I'll show you that real quick. Uh... Yeah, these are all my souls. I have tons of souls of flight. I got all those well, killing wyverns while I was working on the uh, floating island thingy up there. But I have like 59 souls of night. That's okay. But I want to make uh, soul farms, okay? So that's what we're going to do before we're heading into the, or the dungeon or anything else. Let me see if we have enough time to do this real quick. Okay, I want to make the Dread Set, guys. <laughs> dread Skull. Now, let's see. I, I need to make... Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the whole thing. Dread Greaves. Oh, I'm not. No. How much for the... Oh, dude. Wait. Okay. Man, okay. Okay. I guess we can't fight, do the whole thing. Man, I, I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna stop recording, and then I'm gonna do that after we kill the uh, mechanical bosses. Okay, where are we gonna fight these guys? Um, we'll fight them over at the... Over here. Okay, let's go. Buff and boom. And now it's time for this. <laughs> Man, okay. Nice. And I'm getting slow down over here. That's perfect. After we kill these bosses, I'm going to mess with my recording set settings a little bit. And then I'm going to farm for the materials to make the Dread Greaves. I think I need... I think I need more Ectoplasm, actually. Or no, I need Cursed Flames. I'm pretty sure that's all I need. So I'll go and get some more Cursed Flames real quick. And then we will make the Dread Greaves and then profit. And then from there, I'm going to work on a couple of soul farms. Because I have some some ideas that I want to experiment with. Come here. <laughs> nice. All right. Now, look at that. Yeah, stay right in there. Get hit by all that. Get hit by this. It actually does really good damage if I can hit them with it. It's slower. And it debuffs. That's cool. I don't know what it does. We got this. Here, I want to finish you with the yo-yo. We got to do that. I haven't even used it, really, in this episode yet. Come here. Maybe that envenoms them, that debuff. He's purple-ish. All right. Purplish and dead. And I got the trophy. And we don't need that or that. 
or that. I want to make sure that I get everything here. Damnation and the probe. Bender legs. I don't know if I had them. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys. I went down and I was farming for these for quite a while. So we got 27 of them. Hopefully that's enough. I want to see if I can make wings too. If there's enough. And we got the uh, Skeletron Prime trophy. So that's our entire collection of trophies so far. Yahoo. <laughs> anyway, while we're right here, let me open this stuff. Uh, Ruby token. First off, I got to do that up here. Oops. Shoddy ancient rapier. That sounds awesome. Oh, it's a hundred melee damage. Yeah, I mean, early on, I thought the rapiers were awesome, especially because you could count. Oops. <laughs> especially because you can counterattack. But, I mean, uh, uh, it's okay. Anyway, okay, treasure bag one, go. All right, 33 souls of might, we need that. And 35 souls of sight. And 25 fright. Nice. Anyway, okay, let's do this. Dread souls. I don't even know how many I need. I'm just going to make as many as I can. 19, what did I run out of? Oh, this. Here, what about now? Okay, 24. Hopefully that's enough. I can make more of that. All right, so the we need, first of all, the greaves. Yes, okay. Now can we make the wings too? We can. We can. But we only have two left. Hopefully these wings are better than the uh, flesh wings because I put them back on, even though I made those uh, other wings last time. I think they were the Illumite wings. They weren't as good as the flesh wings. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm just going to equip the whole thing. Dump this in here. Look at this mess I'm making. Man. All right. Now. Oh, yes. It's fast. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go up here. Into Santa's old house. Oh, he's not here anymore. Okay. Dread Skull. 18 defense. Look at that. I have 70 defense total now. That's awesome. Infused with the souls of the damned. Set bonus, your boots vibrate at an unreal frequency. Melee damage and critical strike chance increased while near full speed. Yeah, sweet. Okay, one of them has a rare on it. That's cool. Plus 13% crit. And plus 3% thrown crit. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so... <laughs> I was told, you know, when I first heard about the Dread Set, this has been on my things, list of things to do. This, These wings aren't that fast, are they? Okay, fine. See you later, Dread Wings. Man, are these wings, like, these flesh wings are, like, better than every other wing. <laughs> it's, they're so good. Okay, so I was told not to do this when I first heard about the, uh, the dread set. I was told not to do this because it was going to crash my game. So what do you think I'm going to do, guys? This makes me really fast. And so does this. If this ends up crashing my game, so be it. But I have to try it. Let's go. Let's do this. On your marks. Get set. Go. Okay. Shh. That must have been patched. <laughs> because that is not doing anything. I'm faster just running with the dread set. That is awesome. So now, aw, Bernie has lost his usefulness. <laughs> Except, you know, this this attitude, this Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait, let me get out of here for a minute. He's got like that Sonic the Hedgehog attitude. See? If you can see that through all the rain and chaos. I did end up working on this a little bit more. I might as well show you this while we're over here. <laughs> um, and I did work on the tech lab, tech base, a little bit. Did this. This is uh, just slush with uh, sapphire gem spark wall behind it. And of course, 
some Martian blocks, Martian conduit plating that I got from UFO enemies that are spawning around in the sky. So that's how I got some of those early. And I didn't, I don't think I did anything over here, no. But I did end up adding a little bit of detail to this area. These computers are from Thorium, I think. I'm not going to break it to check because I used the floating teleporter trick to get them to stick to the walls up there. But yeah, added a little bit more detail here and there. Now, like, only the surface area. Like, only over here down to, like, you go down here and there's, like, the hallway is blocked. There was, like, a avalanche or landslide or cave-in. That's what I mean to say. There was a cave-in and... You got to go through the little natural tunnel to this broken wall. But from here down, there's going to be a huge, just pure tech. There's going to be no more like natural, no more, no more broken tech lab. It's all going to be natural. And then this side is going to be natural. I mean, not natural, all tech. <laughs> anyway, okay, that's enough of that. Let me, you know what? One more, one more attempt to crash my game. Most people wouldn't want to crash their game, guys. But me, I'm not most people. Okay, so let's see if we crash our game. <laughs> let's race our bullets over here. Oh, man. Yeah, that did not crash us. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> no, go the other way. Not that way. Go up. And go down and go all around. And yes, let's just warp into our base. Anyway, guys, all right, I'll meet you guys down there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> look at that. Nice, we're probably gonna fly all the way to the ends of the earth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just looking at the baby Groot on the map. Anyway, I hollowed out an area pretty big. I think it's big enough for this down here. And oh, we're already getting a lot of <laughs> souls without even without even having to build a farm. <laughs> but I am gonna build a farm. Since I've been having so much fun just messing around with this stuff, we're pretty low on time, I think. So it's just gonna be like a speed build type of thing. I'm just gonna do it as fast as possible. I might end up cutting a bunch of it actually to fit it in, but I'm gonna show how it works and everything. Hopefully it turns out okay, because I haven't tested this at all. So it may not turn out okay. <laughs> but I just kind of had an idea and I'm gonna run with it. Anyway, let's do this. All right, guys, I'm falling back down there right now. Man, I love this gun. <laughs> uh, I ended up cutting the footage or whatever I... Oh, hello. I didn't record all of it because I got an ice bow. Nice, and I'm... Thanks, thanks for that. Really good. I'm trying to record here, buddy. So it, the spawn rate was just totally insane down there. So most of the footage was me flying around maniacally trying to get away from the mobs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I didn't end up doing like the speed build thing because it would have been a nightmare to edit. Edit all that out. Like every two seconds, I'm like, get away from me. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so this took a really long time to do, guys. This is like two and a half hours later. And not only did I do a farm down here for the uh, Souls of Light, but I also, here, I got 123 Souls of Light and 114 Souls of Night. I also did a Soul of Night farm, but there's no teleporter over to that one. Anyway, let's teleport down to this one first. I'll show you this. So something messed up. Here, let me buff. Something messed up and the water, I filled this entire room or this entire empty space up with water, but for some reason it didn't, uh, yeah, it went away and <laughs> despawned or drained. So I built this. At first, I just had the bubble block with this lava right here. See, look at that. That's perfect. That's what I'm talking about. This lava does not even work on those guys. Ugh. This is my first time really testing this out, too. These guys right there, look at that. So I have to have some minions in here with me, or else I'll die. Because those things, these things from G-Realm, they come right through. The lava does not hurt them. Nothing hurts these guys. So that's perfect. Totally perfect. So this is... I need to 
mess around with it a lot more because look, G Realm. Now we're not even getting a bunch of Arapaima. This would work a lot better in vanilla. <laughs> I did not take into account these mobs from G Realm that are just spawning. That's not, but these golems and then those like ghostly things that just come right through. At first I just had this lava down here and I figured, yeah, look, just I'm just going to get Arapaima. I made a jungle biome all around here. I was like, yeah, there's just going to be Arapaima in here, no problem. But then, as I was building it, I was like, oh no. I got these ghost guys and everything. That lava obviously does not even affect. So that's why I put all this lava around here. So, okay. This arena looks like a fail so far. Like, it's just not working out at all right now. Look at that. Here, let me kill these guys and see if I can get anything else going on down here. Otherwise, so far this arena, not arena, but this farm is not too good. Other than that, am I... okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'll try filling up the entire thing with water. I'm gonna mess around with it more. The other arena isn't much better, <laughs> because it's totally not survivable. Anyway, let me show you that one. Okay, here we are, guys. This one is in... Oh, no, see that. <laughs> this one's right here. And this is what I mean by it's not very survivable. So... Well, that's nice, we already got two of these. Yeah, because I didn't take in... When I was building both of these farms, I didn't really take into account any of these mods, basically. Any new mobs and abilities that enemies have from the mods. So I, I have these guys that are really annoying and lava does not affect them. At, over at the other farm, we also have the ghostly guys that lava does not affect. So there's that. And then there's also um, the prefixes for enemies which makes mobs be able to shoot you. There's some ability that they can shoot you through walls and everything. So if I just stand here right now without attacking, like the AFK farm, then uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, look at that, man. Okay, so this experiment was a failure and I'm gonna die. Nope. Ow, stop it. <laughs> Um, let me pick these Souls of Night up. So anyway, failed experiment for these farms. I still need to make some good, uh, some good soul farms. Even though, just building these things. I'm out of here. Let me get out of here. Just building those farms supplied me with 126 and 124. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. But I'm, I want more than that. <laughs> or I think I need more than that. I don't remember why... But for something I was looking at, I need a bunch of souls. Anyway, okay, failed experiment, no problem. Hopefully it gives some of you some ideas, maybe for vanilla Terraria farms. Uh, other than that, I'll probably tweak them a bit and try to get them to work better. Because right now they don't work at all, really. This armor set is really cool. <laughs> but um, I don't know if it's something I would wear all the time. Like, the movement speed is just totally insane. I'm gonna fight bosses wearing this. I'm probably gonna make the Cryo Magus set, and also the Illumite set, just to experiment. And, uh, I'm gonna make Shroomite Bars next time, and we're gonna go into the dungeon. And, or, maybe before going into the dungeon, I'm gonna try to, uh... Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna try to farm up the remaining, remaining materials or items that I need to make an Ankh charm and then the Ankh shield. I think I just need like a megaphone and like just a few more items. I have the Nazar, that thing I got in the beginning of the series. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.